Welcome to the introduction for Xflow. What is Xflow? Xflow is a uh, document management application for AP. Um, and so if you currently receive dozens to hundreds of emails a day to your accounts team with PDFs where you're saving those documents, um, trying to read them, process them, and you don't want to do that anymore, we've got the solution for you and it's called Xflow. So this tutorial, we're going to cover a few things, which is what is the process and how Xflow will simplify this for you? What is Xflow Data Capture being the platform, the portal, the functional workflow, what it looks like, key pages within Business Central being references, purchases, contracts, approvers, and how to set up a document for success. Let's get started. Xflow is an international company uh, come out of Europe. They've been in the AP automation space for years. They are uh, have currently support for Microsoft uh, Business Central and Navision, and they also look after the the bigger brother, which is FNO. And um, really, uh, as an extension, it's very easy to use. They've simplified the process of using what used to be known as uh, ReadSoft, now is Kofax. They have their own version of the Xflow data capture, which is the previous ReadSoft. It's currently powered by Kofax. And the concept of this is that a document, when it comes into your organization, can be read completely and can be processed automatically into Business Central. And from within Business Central, we have an extension installed, which is Xflow. We have our OCR set up for this demo, and I'm currently in a role called Xflow Accountant. Before we proceed, let's actually take a look at the workflow and what it means. For your emails, your emails will be going to your finance department, accounts at or ap at yourcompanydomain.com. What we do is we point that to be sent to a mailbox within the Xflow data capture system. Okay. It is read, it, it's translated, it can handle multiple languages, multiple currencies, multiple regions, um, but it really, OCR stands for Optical Character Recognition, and it is all about translation from an image to text. All right, from here, it will be imported into Business Central as an Xflow imported document. Once the document gets imported, it goes through multiple stages. Step one is, does this have a reference? Now, a reference is a way that one of your vendors and their bills can be recognized automatically. And from that reference, it can set the flow through Business Central of how that document will perform. The next question is, does it have a contract attached to that reference? So if there's a contract, is it over 12 months, 24 months, 36? Stuff like your electricity, your rent, your telephone bill, do you need to send that for approval when you already signed the contract six months ago? Like, is it something that's just gonna create noise for your team? Um, yeah, there's a lot of great strength within the system there for contracts. The next thing is, is there a purchase code? Are you using cost centers? Do you wanna split this based on percentages across your organization's dimensions? So purchase codes, super important. The next thing, Who's your approval and what's your delegation of authority within your organization? This is where Xflow comes to life. Xflow approver. Then from there, it goes to a posted purchase invoice. Now, when you start, the email coming in is clunky, okay? It has to be forwarded from you to Xflow and you check it and you test it and you make sure it's right. You have to go through every vendor five times before you can allow the system to automatically go through from email straight into Business Central. When it's in Business Central, it needs training. You have to set each of your vendor agreements up with a reference and a contract or a purchase code. You need to set up your authority matrix, but when it's finished, technically speaking, an email will be received by Xflow. It's automatically processed through the workflow in Business Central and if there is no objection and there is no approval that it requires, it will post automatically to a posted purchase invoice with minimal intervention from your finance team. Let's go have a look within Business Central and uh, Xflow Data Capture.
Okay, here we are with uh, Xflow, and this is the extension within Business Central. And we want to have a look at a couple of things. The first thing we want to look at is what's called an Xflow reference. Now we have an Xflow reference code. I've created a few here as an example. And there is a code here, just here, CQ154003. What does that mean? What is that for? Let's go have a look at it. This is a reference that's been created and it's created with a contract for a vendor, which is Canon, Canon Australia. Okay. So it means that if we have anything that comes through the system with a reference, so let's go back to data capture and have a look here at what that means with this, this bill we've got. So as the bill comes through, we would have selected Canon. And we tab through and the field goes to green. We know that this is an invoice. We know that it has an invoice number. So that's the uh, invoice number up the top here. Now, if we don't have that right now, we would hold the control key and we would go and just highlight that field. And there it is, it sucks it straight in. We have the invoice date. Okay, now being that this is an old bill for an example, I'm going to set the date on this to the 10th month. And when's it due? Now, you have a choice to ignore due dates or to use them all. We prefer to ignore due dates because in Business Central, you can set it to use your vendor's payment terms by default. Keep going down. I'm capturing the vendor's APN. And here we are, we've got ourselves a reference number and I can see a con contract number just here. You see that 154000003. That contract number is the contract that we have created uh, as a reference number in here. Now this reference number gives us an anchor point that every bill that now comes in with that contract up the top here, loaded into the reference, it's going to make it super easy for us. Purchase order. We have a customer order number, so I can highlight that and I can tap through there. We're going to go down to the bill here and on the bottom here, I can see a GST total. Just check that that's right. And the invoice total needs to be this amount here. All right. We now have ourselves a bill set up, but over here underneath, it's suggesting that we want to capture lines on this bill, which I don't. I'm going to delete these lines. Now, when you do have a bill where you want to capture the lines, you can by hitting the pencil. And what it's going to allow you to do here is to capture not only the item number, the description, its quantity and its unit price per line. And if you've got 10, 20, 30 pages worth of lines, it will copy all of those lines in straight into your purchase order. Um, so your, your purchase invoice ready to go. So you don't have to type all of that. So the first part here is the data capture. Okay, we're capturing this as one bill. It's a total bill of $46.76. Okay, we are not going to worry much more about data capture here, but I'm going to hit OK here and that document is processed. Now, we've talked about a reference, but there's a contract here. Let's go have a look at what contracts mean. Here we have an Xflow contract. From the Xflow contract, I can see that I've got a contract with this vendor, which is Canon Australia. I can see here that we've got a purchase code, which is our next conversation. Who is the first approver? What's the approval rule? And there's an approval rule for this. What's the purchase code? It's myself. What's the reference, which is the reference is the contract ID. And let's now get down into here. The contract's valid from until. It has a total contract amount and it has a maximum amount per invoice. Under the periods, we can see here when it started and it's over three years, therefore there's 36 invoices that are expected to be on here. If you want to use reminders, you can do, and it allows you some options for matching to posting date. All right, so here we are, we've got ourselves a contract. So we've got a reference that's pointing to a contract and it's also pointing to a purchase code. Let's go have a look at the purchase code. There's a purchase code called Canon. 
Here we can see multiple lines. I can see a weight which does not have to equal 100, it's just a weight numerally. And from here it will create a percentage weight. We can see our department code, this is a dimension. Um, you can allocate this against jobs, you can allocate this against deferrals. There's a lot of things you can do within here to make this quite functional as a system. So we're expecting this bill to be broken down by five lines when it comes into Business Central. Okay, well the last thing for us is on this, what are the XFlow approvers? So let's go XFlow approve. And I can see XFlow approval rules. There is one called all. This is where you can create many rules. All right, and the rule itself gives you a name, the rules applied for specifically an order invoice or a quote or all, okay? We can see here it's priority and you can have multiple, we can disable it. But the filters here, what do we want this to filter on? We can filter by dimension. Here's the real thing here. Whenever there is a GL account, this must go to the following approvers, which is to demo admin for this amount. It comes in through the imported documents. Now, I'm gonna click here, and it shows me my import journals. From here, these are our lines on the XFlow import journal. I can see here, these are old documents, so I'm gonna hit process and import documents. From this service, we have a new bill that's come in today. Okay, here you can see that we have a bill here that's been imported today for the 10th. Now, because I entered a purchase order number, it's trying to match this document against the purchase order with the purchase order number that was provided. Now, being that we're not using this as an actual purchase order, I'm gonna turn that off and I'm going to verify the document. And now you can see here, it is inserted down below split this bill completely down by the percentages. The bill here now exists within the system, okay? And that line there has no errors, therefore it can go straight to an invoice. Okay, so a couple of things to note here. There is a job that runs that imports the documents every 30 minutes, every hour, whatever we set it to, okay? If the document comes through and it's clear of all errors, there's a second job that runs every hour, every day, whatever you'd like, that automatically creates the invoices from the document that's here that has no errors. How do you set things up for success? Well, here are some examples where things are wrong. If you have missing lines, you don't have your tax right, you didn't select the lines correctly, um, there's no reference or no purchaser, you're gonna find that the system's gonna ask you questions. It's gonna become administratively awkward. If you have set up, again, the three, your, your reference, your contract, and your purchase codes, your documents will fly straight through the purchasing system and uh, will automatically post to invoice and you won't have to uh, be involved with touching them. So there's more to this then this uh, demo can provide. For example, uh, we'll go through another tutorial on receiving um, invoices against purchase orders and having them match. Um, so there's some great power behind this. And the other thing that we haven't shown you yet is the XFlow approval portal, being the fact that this document bypassed approval because it didn't need it because it was based on a contract. So going back to our tutorial introduction, the key thing that we're trying to achieve today is to show you how XFlow Data Capture interfaces with Business Central and enables you to simplify your workflow within your department with bills from email straight into posted purchase invoice. Thank you.